Chuck from Mortadella Head, and today we are gonna make our Sunday sauce lasagna. It's gonna be stuffed with our homemade meatballs, Italian sausages, homemade marinara sauce, tons of cheese and other goodies. Wait till you see this. Thing. Remember when you were a kid and your grandmother had the sauce on the stove all day on a Sunday? The meatballs and the sausages, with the macaroni going, the house smelled beautiful. We're gonna do that for you. We're gonna put it all in one beautiful tray. You don't have to do the work, we're gonna do the work for you. This is what we're gonna be using today. We have a beautiful marinara sauce. Okay, use your favorite marinara sauce. Make your own marinara sauce at home, it's easy. But if you have a favorite store-bought one, use that. We have some meatballs that just came out of the oven. Sausages that have been already cooked to make this video, you know, a lot quicker and easier to do. Salt and pepper, grated Romano cheese. We have some fresh parsley, a nice, beautiful, creamy ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese. This is the cheese we use on our pizza. Revolone, we have fresh basil, and we have some nice, freshly made pasta sheets. I want you guys to check out these meatballs. These meatballs just came out of the oven. These are probably some of the best meatballs you'll ever have. And I think the key to these meatballs that makes them so delicious is we use a homemade Roman pizza Bianca. That's kind of what we use in there. A lot of people use stale bread or breadcrumbs. So we make a pizza Bianca and then we, you know, we mix it into the meatballs. And there's so much flavor in there because the pizza Bianca, the dough ferments for 72 hours. And it becomes really delicious, really airy. And I think that that's one of the keys to make these meatballs so good. Okay, first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna mix our ricotta cheese with some other ingredients. And we're gonna make this beautiful filling for this lasagna. Let's put a couple nice scoops of ricotta in the bowl. Then we're gonna add a couple spoonfuls of freshly grated Romano cheese, a little bit of salt, some black pepper. We're gonna give some Italian flat leaf pasta a quick chop. Here's the trick. We're gonna add some nice hot marinara sauce to this mix and it's gonna help bring this thing together. It's gonna turn into a beautiful pink color and all the flavors from the onions and the garlic and the tomatoes. It's gonna to make this ricotta cheese mix one of the best things about this lasagna. Okay, when your ricotta cheese has this beautiful pinky orange peachy color, it's ready to go. We're ready to start building our lasagna. Let's drop our lasagna sheets some hot water, let those cook for a couple of minutes. Let's take our sausages and let's just cut them into half inch slices. Enough to fill our lasagna. I think that should be enough. Grab our meatballs, same thing. Give those a nice slice. That should be perfect. If you don't get a half inch exactly, you'll be fine. Check out our lasagna sheets. They look like they're done. Drain them off. Put them on a tray, let them cool off a little bit so we can handle them. And what we want to do is, I like to hit them with a little bit of olive oil so they don't stick together while they're cool. Because if they stick together, it's a real pain in the neck. It's time to build our lasagna, and we're going to build it in this little rectangular takeout container. This is what we use at Mortadella Head, and this is what we use when we ship our lasagnas uh, to people anywhere in the country. So we're gonna put the first layer on, which is gonna be our marinara sauce. Spread it around, make sure you get some good coverage. Next step, we're gonna put in a sheet of our lasagna pasta right there. Next up, let's put in our ricotta cheese mixture. One spoonful over there, one spoonful over there. Spread it around a little bit. I'll put a slice of provolone on this side and just give it a little, a little press to kind of spread out that ricotta cheese. Same thing over here. A little more sauce over there. Spread that around, a little more sauce over here. Spread that around. Then we're gonna hit it with a little sprinkle of greater amount of cheese. Another layer of lasagna sheets. A little bit more ricotta cheese on that side. A little more ricotta cheese on this side. Some provolone, press it down. More provolone, press it down. A little bit more sauce, a little bit more sauce. Spread it around. It's easy, see? Once you do the first layer, you know what to do. A little bit more Romano. Another sheet of uh, pasta. A little bit more ricotta cheese. Another scoop of ricotta cheese. Spread it around. Get your provolone. Put it down. Put it down. A little more sauce on this side. A little more sauce on that side. Spread it around. Give it a sprinkle. More Romano. Now it's time for the good stuff. So now we're going to take our sausages. Sprinkle them around. We want a little bit of sausage in every bite. But we're not done yet. Let's get our meatballs. Just came out of the oven. Let's put those in. Let's tuck them in where we have some room. I don't want to see any sauce. I want to see 
meatballs and sausages on this layer. I'm going to cover the whole thing. That's what we're about here. Nobody's getting skinny. Eating that more than head. Okay, look at that. Let's put a little more sauce on top of this. Put a little more sauce here. Spread it around a little. I think this layer needs a little bit more grated cheese. Never too much Never grated cheese. Never too much. Okay, now we're going to put our final layer of lasagna. Okay, so let's put this on here. Tuck that in a little bit. I'm going to give a final layer of uh, tomato sauce. Get some good coverage. Get in all the corners. I don't want any dry lasagna around the edge. Let's make sure we spread it around good. That's the key to a good lasagna. Now we're going to load it up with some mozzarella cheese. Spread it around the best we can. All right. Does that look good, Sammy, or we need more? Good. Add a little more. A little give, more. It, give the people what they want. Right? A little more. Let's get the corns in. There you go. All right. Let's go. And fresh. then one more little sprinkle. Yeah. Of grated cheese. Get some fresh basil on this thing before we put it in the oven. So we'll just pluck off some leaves. It smells really good. Roll them up. I'm gonna start chopping. Sebi, Sebi says I like to show off my knife skills. I actually don't think I have good knife skills. So it's full of shit. Let's sprinkle it right on the top. All right, time to cook this thing. At home, set your oven for like 375 degrees and put it in for about 30 to 35 minutes. About a half hour should be perfect for this. We're gonna put it in, close it up. Let's check this Sunday sauce lasagna and see if it's ready. Oh, it looks ready. It looks perfect. The top of it is nice and, nice and golden brown. Wait till you see the cheese. Look at that. The meatballs and the sausages are kind of like created like a little little mountain on the top. This thing smells unbelievable. We're gonna let it rest for about five minutes before we cut into it, so the cheese doesn't like flow out the lava. It stays together nice. So we're just gonna let this sit here, relax for a few minutes. Let's see how many pounds this thing is. Let's see what we're dealing with here. What's that? Two and two, three quarters. Two point seven four two pounds. It's a heavy one. It's a heavy weight. It's a heavy one. Those meatballs, they take up a lot of weight. That's a lot of cheese, kids. Let's try this sucker. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? You ready for me to try this monstrosity? I'm zooming up on your lips. <laughs> I feel violated right now. Let's go. Meatballs, sausages, marinara sauce, ricotta cheese, mozzarella. Stop Come talking and Come eat it. On. Thing is awesome. Chucky likey. I like it a lot, yeah. It just shows uh, how good a uh, meatball is. I just got I just got like a burst of meatball flavor in my mouth. Mixed in with that sauce. It's unbelievable. More people need to be more I people agree. eat this to be a better world. The right? world would be a better place. The world would be a better place. There'd be no corona. There'd be zero corona. Luckily, we can accommodate. We ship this thing all over the United States. Said not 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 Alaska? How do you well, maybe. Do you know that for a fact, or are you just talking shit? Uh, they always say on TV, continental US. But the TV is not us. What do you mean? Yeah, if they want to pay for the ship, and let's send it to fucking Bolivia. I don't care. What this is like a, this is an A++. plus plus. Anybody who wants to try it, come to our website. We plus plus. Come in, pick it up. We'll deliver it to your house. If you live around here, if you don't live around here, we'll still deliver it to your house in a box. You can heat it up when it gets to you. Mortadellahead.com. Thank you for watching. Make it nice. Make it nice. It's great.